everyone, it's Laura and Happy New Year. So I'm starting off this year by doing a highly requested video and it's about undergrad majors and classes to take for dental school. Please remember that I'm no admissions counselor so I don't know everything but the information that I'm sharing with you guys is something that I would have found useful when I was a pre-dent trying to figure things out. So as far as majors go, there are no specific required majors for dental school. You are free to major in literally anything that you'd like and I really encourage you to choose a major that you actually enjoy and it's based off of your personal interests, aka not what you think dental school admissions would prefer because they don't have a preference. A lot of students major in your typical sciences like biology, chemistry, biochemistry, and that's probably because a lot of the dental school prereqs overlap with those specific majors requirements. But with that said, you can also successfully complete all of your dental school prereqs with a non-science major. A good chunk of my class actually majored in the non-sciences, and so some examples of my classmates' majors are civil engineering, bioengineering, medical anthropology, public health, communications, comparative history of ideas, economics, and psychology. To be honest, I majored in biology because biology has been my favorite school subject since high school, but if I were to redo undergrad and choose a different major, then I would have highly considered psychology because I actually really loved my intro to psych class and wish I would have taken more. When it comes down to it, your undergrad major really does not matter for dental school admission purposes. As long as you fulfill all of the dental school prerequisite classes, which I will now cover. So different dental schools have different prerequisites that they require for admission, and it's up to you as a pre-dental student to look up the schools that you're interested in applying to in the future and make sure that you are able to satisfy those requirements. Among the US dental schools, here are some popular prereqs. General biology with lab, general chemistry with lab, organic chemistry with lab, physics with lab, biochemistry, English composition, human anatomy, physiology, microbiology, psychology, and the social sciences and humanities. These are not universal prereqs for all schools. They're kind of like a compilation of the most popular ones. And again, the number of credits also varies from school to school, so you wanna make sure that you take that into consideration. I suggest making a spreadsheet of all of the prereqs from the schools that you are interested in applying to, and so you can easily see like what classes you've already completed and what courses that you will need to take in the future. Some optional classes to consider taking are intro to business, public health, communications, sociology, ceramics to kind of build up your manual dexterity. And at my school, they actually offered a course called Planning a Career in Dentistry, and it was actually a class offered by the School of Dentistry to undergrad students. And it's a great class where pre-dental students are actually able to learn about the different aspects of dentistry, and they're taught from UW's very own faculty. So to recap, choose a major that you are genuinely interested in learning about and something that you're good at because when it comes down to it, your major really, really does not matter. No preference is given to any particular field, whether you're science or non-science. Search your dental schools of interest as soon as you can so that you know what dental school class requirements you need to take and you can plan it and have the correct number of credit hours. In addition to just the dental school prereqs, I suggest taking classes that will be beneficial to you when you are becoming a dentist. That's kind of vague, but an example of that would be I took uh, an intro to sociology class during my undergrad and it was really helpful for me in learning about the health disparities and the importance of cultural competency. And those are things that we're currently learning in dental school because you need to learn how to work with those patient populations and like how to address different issues. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know that it was. Also, if you are interested in a video covering pre-dental extracurriculars, then please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.